hug, 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 hug. I get up early, I have to get my kids ready for school, you know, typical, normal, everyday stuff. Jill and her husband Eric seem the typical American family. But at their suburban home, their garage is a fight gym. I guess you could say that th there's two sides of me, the mom and the, the wife, and then, then the fighter. Right. Jill's husband, Eric, encourages her unconventional pursuit. No place for women in the sport. I say, I come to my house and <laughs> take on my wife, then tell me that. Women who choose to demonstrate their physical strength have long been labelled unladylike. There are some societies that have invested a large amount in convincing women that they are frail, helpless, and in need of men. And for, for a while in Western history, this was a very strong part of being an upstanding woman. Women fighters challenge us. They expose our own conflicted sense that on the one hand, we want our daughters to be strong, and on the other, we want our daughters to behave like traditional women. Jill and Tisha are out to turn the conventional image on its head. I don't think it's going to change. Like, I think people are always going to say it's a man's sport. We just got to show them that we're talented enough and we need enough women that take the sport seriously to get in there and, and have good fights and put good fights on to say, wow, these women are really talented. They are good at what they do. In two days, Jill will become one of the first women ever to fight in a cage in the state of Maine. But with the freedom to fight, comes countless negative stereotypes. They get accused of being butch, being a man-hater. It really always seems to boil down to those things, and it comes from fear. It isn't always men who criticize. It can just as well be their sisters, who are scared, horrified, disgusted by this visceral image. At the local fight gym, Jill stands out as the only woman. Her speciality, jiu-jitsu, allows her to ground men twice her size. Jiu-jitsu is made for the little guy. Once you get the technique, um, you can take down someone 100, 200 pounds bigger than you. <laughs> 